So yes, hello, hello. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a few days since I've been live, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that because uh, it's been a really crazy week, and I haven't managed to do the, I haven't managed to do the demons thing I was going to do on Tuesday. Hopefully, I'll do that later today. Uh, I will. I'll do that later today, probably. Um, yesterday, yesterday I actually had the intention of starting a new series. I can see the game is ready. Yesterday I had the intention of actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept. Uh, yesterday I had the hope of starting a new series where I play a game in a foreign language and then when I tested it I realized that actually um, even though the text is all in a foreign language the voiceover in KOTOR is still in English so that didn't work I'm gonna have to pick a different game for that so I hope that I get to start that I need to wait until I can buy a game again but uh, I hope I have an idea of when to, when to start that and what with let's check in with my opponent um, I'm not sure if um, Spartak Noddle wants to speak. Let's just check. Um, but yes, we're playing some Blood Bowl for the first time in a while as well. And uh, we're playing some mixed teams. Hi, Dead Shores. I see your chat. Um, oh, my, my stream video has crashed on tablet like usual, because of course it has. Uh, let me just try and fix that. Um, so yes, we're playing a mixed team, and uh, the mixed team for my opponent is obviously High Elves against Bretonians. And then my team is a mixed team of Undead Things, because of course it is. So uh, I got some pretty big skeletons, some pretty small skeletons, a bull handling skeleton, and a, a zombie and a, a vampire for all. Uh, let's check again with him. Not really... Okay, he doesn't want to chat, that's fine. So it's just, uh, it's just me and you. Uh, if you're in chat, um, Spartak Noddle, hi Dabu, that's absolutely fine, but um, yeah, not a problem. I, feel, I, I always give people the option to chat or not in stream, and if you don't want to, then I totally understand. I need to, I really need to refresh, this is not working properly, is it? So, let's try that again. So, if you've spoken in chat and I've, uh, I've missed it, I'll alt tab and have a look in a second. Uh, but Deadshaws, how are you? Uh, are you doing okay? Uh, I'm sorry about Wednesday, by the way. Um, I've had a really weird week. That's that's all I can say, and um, I'm glad that I I'm glad that I have a chance to stream now actually because hey Dogrox as well um, because I don't know it's been a weird week it's been a weird week mentally and it's been a weird week um, oh my god I can't spell there we go and it's been a weird week in terms of um, the the work I've had to do so yes lots of things got in the way but I'm here now and hopefully I'm here tonight I'm here. Maybe tomorrow? I've got to go out tomorrow, but um, I'll try and do something in the day, and uh, I'll try and keep Sunday up as usual. Just a bit tired, made it very late yesterday. Oh god, okay, that's uh, that's how it works. And um, uh, Dogrex, uh, like, I, I think I just answered that question, but uh, I'm not bad. How, how are you, sir? How are you? Uh, Shores, can you do me a favor and shout out Dogrex, and I'll give you a shout out, or shout out yourself as well, um, or I'll give you a shout out in a little bit. Now, obviously, best of luck to... Uh, my esteemed opponent, who is Czech, by the way. I don't know if he wants people to know that, actually. But he is Czech, and uh, he's the only person that I manage to practice my Czech with sometimes. Um, which is now awful, because I haven't spoken it in, like, uh, six years. <laughs> you did yourself first. Well done. That's awesome. But that's cool. Yes, so uh, shout out to Dead Shores. Dead Shores. Oh, no, you did Dog Rocks first. Sorry, you can't shout out yourself. Never mind. Um, so, yes, Dog Rocks is... Um, a variety streamer who I haven't actually managed to watch in a very long time because he tends to go live pretty late for me. Uh, sometimes I lurk. In general, they're a really good guy, good fun, and by all means, go check him out. And uh, Dead Shores is Dead Shores. I mean, we play we play with each other in Euro Truck Manager every week if we can. And uh, in general, he does some things as well. What's your current thing? You're doing Daisy with um, Mind of Tom, aren't you? Hang on, I can shout out Dead Shores. Let's just. Uh, Let's do the shout out of the Dead Shores. Yeah, two great guys, and if you want to, if you want a variety of accents, then um, between the three of us, we sound very different. So you know, that's always good fun. Does that work? I think that works. We're sticking with that. Um, what was my plan with this team? I don't know. Did I have a plan with this team? I don't know. I got a, I got six big guys who can potentially control the field at least, but uh, I don't know if they're going to. 
I probably should have I probably should have taken some time thinking about what to say in, in this opening, but you know what, you know me. Screw it. I'm just I'm just here and doing things. Uh yeah, Doggerex as well. What do you what are you playing at the moment on stream? Do you have a do you have a current long term game? Because, like I said, unfortunately, I haven't had time to watch you. But if there's something that you know is really worth, oh dear. Well, we both got one. Okay. Why do they spell moon like M O O N? Uh, the four, um, the four, the four big guys all um, spell out Tutankhamun, and the two um, flesh columns spell out Frank. Stein. So, you know, uh, I did go with some kind of sensibility with the naming here. Let's uh, protect the ball first. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing this morning. It's too early. This morning? It's not even morning. It's afternoon. That's how That's how I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well. <coughs> if you came here expecting something sensible, you came to the wrong place. So, what can I say? Ah, you're both playing Daisy. There we go, then. Yes, and I'm sure that's exactly what happened. I'm sure that Doggerux copied you, even though I'm pretty sure he was playing at first. Yes, yes, that makes perfect sense, Shores. Yeah, sure. I'm, uh, I'm sure you're completely right. That's almost certainly a thing. But alright, you're both playing that, Shores. That's fine. Why don't you play together? Did I just break your brains that you didn't think about that? But I, I don't know. Um, no, I, I'm not sure if your schedule's match up to be fair, because Shores tends to be a little bit earlier in the day. That's why I managed to watch Shores most of the time and not Doggerux, but still. Yeah. So, uh, my fucked up schedule this week. Um, I hope to I hope to do some demons editing tonight. That is the that is the plan. Um, when I say tonight, I don't know exactly when I'll start, but I'll start in the evening, because uh, my, my work has gotten really weird at the moment, and I'm trying to actually change my work timetable a little bit. Where are you going? You're supposed to be getting the ball. Oh well, whatever. I'm losing my mind. Um, and Demons tonight. Demons editing book tonight. Um, I haven't done anything on projects, even though I want to. So that's hopefully going to all be going on next week, and hopefully I'll have something to update next week. Uh, Saturday, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'll probably do more demons on Saturday, to be honest. I may do a quick edit tonight, and then I'll do a long edit tomorrow um, in the day. Might do some behind the scenes stuff tomorrow as well. I haven't I haven't quite decided yet, but there'll be something demons related tomorrow because that's what Saturday is supposed to be. And uh, on Sunday obviously I'll be continuing with uh Sunday on um Doggerux uh exclamation mark poker uh poker start to get involved in the game. And on Sunday I'll be playing Settlers and we'll be doing one of the We'll either be doing Africa or we'll be doing um North Asia as part of the world uh, campaign. So that's the that's how it looks. Um, that's how it looks for the rest of this week, I think. There we go. Drifloon. Last night was a crazy stream. Three kills and a lot happened. Yeah, I, 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 I've I've watched watched. I've lurked in a stream with a uh, mind of Tom and um, uh, and Shores. Uh, let's shut up Mind of Tom as well, because I keep mentioning him. Oh, someone died already. Awesome. Roger! He came back. Um, actually, Shores, can you shut up Mind of Tom, because I keep talking to him. Talking to him, talking about him. Um, I've lurked in the Daisy stream with Shores and Mind of Tom. I'm still not entirely sure what, what's going on in that game, if I'm totally frank. Zombies, I, I know that much, but that's, uh, that's as much as I've managed to figure out so far. Which is maybe more than most, so I don't know. Uh, Mind of Tom and Deadshots tend to play together uh, in this in this game that we're talking about, the, the Daisy. That's uh, that's why I'm shouting him out. Also, uh, Mind of Tom is a small streamer at the moment, so as is Shores actually. So give them give them both some love. Shores deserves more followers actually. Mind of Tom is quite new, so he probably does as well, but uh, he's too new to say for certain at the moment. Do I want to follow? Yeah, probably. I have no idea what I'm doing in this game, if I'm totally honest. Hey, hey you caught Drifloon. Congratulations. It's a weird-ass Pokemon, but uh, congrats on catching it. Oh, 
laggy. Oh well, laggy happens, I guess. Um, I will start talking strategy in this game when when I start thinking about what the hell I'm doing. At the moment, I'm just punching things, which you know is um, is often strategy enough, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I don't know why the fuck he's here. He's supposed to be down here with the ball, to be honest. But he's not. We'll go this way so the big guys can protect it, I guess. And then we'll do a one dice blitz, which is always a good idea. Yep. And we'll take the skull. Uh, the intention, obviously, was to come back, but it didn't work. Level 20, holy. Just, just holy. That's insane. I don't think I've caught anything even close to level 20. That's a, that's a good catch. Well done. Drifloon is the floating balloon thing, yeah? I think so. From the third or fourth, no, I think fourth generation. Uh, mine are mostly level two. I think it's because you're at the start of the game. I, I get somewhere between level two and like level 15, but I don't think I've ever caught a level 20. I think the highest I've caught actually is level 15. It's mostly randomized though, to be fair. Oh, never mind level one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a uh, that's a uh, that's a little bit different, but uh, but okay, okay. Yeah, nice, nice. Why do you think it was level twenty and level one? That's a uh, that's a uh, that's a thing. Oh no, causing problems. Kind of. I hope it's clear to everybody that in this game my main goal is going to be to give a big guy the ball. Torchic level five. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the starting Pokemon starts at level five regardless. I think that's usually how Pokemon games work, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. I honestly don't know though, to be totally honest. Level twenty, and I didn't see the level up. Uh, uh, IV twenty. Sorry. Okay. Um, it was push, wasn't it? So we'll stand for. I see, I see. Oh, we got some friends. Isn't that fun? Right. No, don't lag. Game is lagging, not stream, so if you're watching it going, Ah, stream is so laggy, it's not, it's the game. It just has its moment when it decides that it doesn't like me. Yeah, we'll stick with that description. That was a, that was a fine description as a description, I think. Oh, double power. That's uh, not a problem, actually, because he has no dodge. Right. So, punching stuff that way. Hopefully. Okay, pushing stuff that way. Less impressive. There's a fend, so now we have to GFI. Oh dear. But it works. And you're probably dodging... Okay. Stay. Damn. I'm not dodging you out. I am dodging you out though, and putting you over here somewhere. We'll try and break too much sex. I've been ignoring chat, sorry. Too much sex, no sex, okay. I think they're both names of characters. Um characters, players. One got rocked, I know that much. I guess No Sax was the one who did damage to me. You're gonna stand up actually, not doing anything else. What was the injury actually? Was it badly hurt? It was. Okay. Then, not a problem. Come on, game. Game. Seriously. There we go. Alright, good. We got that out. <coughs> the dice are favoring us so far. Hey, we got one. This is a stun though. Oh well. Uh I don't think you I don't think you can keep the dead in this team. I haven't played uh, I haven't played mixed in a long in a long ass while, but uh, I don't think you get to keep the dead with uh with this team. Maybe I'm wrong though. Who knows? And hey, I'm still three away from Stream Raiders. I've actually been playing a lot of Stream Raiders. The current, uh, the current, 
uh, what's the word? <laughs> event. That's a good word for it. The current event is actually is actually pretty pretty good. I think they I think they're doing a bit too much on the game now, though, to be honest, because it's supposed to be a it's supposed to be an idling thing where you're not really paying attention to it. But they've made some of the game modes too quick, so they've added the they've added the versus mode and they've added the dungeons. Um, and when it's like five minutes where you put something down, it's it's pretty good because you could just kind of idle it and you can play with three different streamers and you know take your time. But when you've got a when you've got a dungeon of versus and a uh, campaign mission open. It's just it's just too much at once, in my opinion. Interesting. Okay, decided against. Oh, that's unlucky. That was bad. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was unlucky. I feel, I feel like I need to correct myself when I say bad, because it sounds like I'm, um, I'm judging the coach, but I'm not. This is unlucky. We indeed. Ah, <coughs> uh, um... I forgot how to spell that, to be honest. I probably spelled that completely wrong, but... <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <coughs> right. Push you, follow, so you can go... Over there. <coughs> yeah, we're good. Okay, help works. Okay, interesting. I learn more about this game every time, <laughs> every time other people play it. Uh, um, <coughs> no, I don't want that, I want that. Damn, that's not what I wanted though. Probably follow in that case, which is not ideal. Okay, <coughs> that's a reroll. That's better. That way. So that just puts you there. Come on, game. Don't like. There we go. Alright, let's do that. No. I mean, I, I was expecting that to be frank, but, you know, I'm going to try and score on the big guys at least, because... What am I doing if I'm not trying to score on the big guys? They're not technically speaking big guys, they're pseudo big guys, because they don't have any mega traits, but... You know... I don't feel like it's me if I'm not trying to score on them, you know? <coughs> uh, in terms of ICPBL as well, they've actually started a rookie league, which is good actually. It's a rookie cup, sorry, where they're letting all of the new guys play in their own designated cup, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's not in practice for a lot of leagues, obviously, but it's still um, it's still pretty awesome that they've uh, they've decided to do that. Um, so, if you are looking for somewhere friendly to play blood ball in general, or if you are looking for the uh, Rookie Cup, which I just mentioned, then by all means come join us in ICPBL. I say us, I've got nothing to do with the with the background stuff, but um, oh, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Because I, cause I always write it wrong, that's why. I see B B L. there we go. Sorry. Um, <coughs> uh, the new league is starting as well pretty soon, I guess, the standard league. Not pretty soon, actually. We're still in the playoffs, so in three weeks, maybe? Something like three weeks, I think the new cup will be starting. So if you are looking for somewhere to play Blood Bowl, and, um, or if you want to play against me for some bizarre reason, then by all means do that. Next season, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Uh, I am going to keep the Kislevites going, because I think I owe it to, um, to the country that they represent. <coughs> but... Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking about playing a, a relatively serious team. Hey, it worked. Um, <coughs> uh, a relatively serious team next season in Steel. I'm thinking of actually playing Orcs, because I haven't done a real Orc team in a while. 
Well, the other option is a real lizard team, but uh, I want to play a real team because uh, I've gotten. I like the silly stuff, but uh, I want a mix of silly and non-silly. I think for next season, just to just to see if I still like this game. <laughs> I guess. Though the 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 way the computer handles it, I don't know. I don't know if I want an extra game to be completely frank, but uh, I'm going to try and drop down to two games as soon as this cup is over. This cup is five games long. I'll try and keep it at two games a week. Apart from that, I probably should have followed, shouldn't I? No, we're good. Do I want that one? No, I'm taking it anyway. Because <coughs> I want to uh, Frank a little bit closer, actually. Oh, these big guys aren't big guying. Um, none of them have mighty blow, to be honest. Oh, and the way this particular cup works, the brass cup, it is uh, it is mixed teams. You can have a normal team here as well. It is mixed teams, but there are restrictions on what you can do with the team. So I've gone for maximum uh, big guys without using Mighty Blow. I could, for example, have two mummies, which are better, instead of two, uh, instead of four team guardians, but I like the idea of having six massive pillars, <coughs> personally. So that's what I've gone for. Um... My opponent as well has the option of High Elves, Bretonians, Chaos Dwarfs, and Vampires in the same team, but he's gone for a purely High Elf Bretonian um, setup, which is interesting. It's also interesting that he took a lineman, actually. A, a High Elf lineman, I mean, two High Elf linemen. He could have taken more peasants and gotten cheaper. well, line, but he took some High Elves, which is very interesting. Or he could have had hobgoblins as well, but they wouldn't have been very good. Or he could have used um, some thralls for the middle part. I think that's the team he's using anyway. Superior being, I guess he is, so... I'll take that, obviously. A little bit surprised he followed, actually. It would have probably been better off not following, but oh well. <coughs> Let's not use. Let's get closer. So yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit surprised by the follow. Uh, yeah, that was... Um, uh, okay. Sure. <coughs> So, Mr. Mime, hell yeah. I'm going to try and catch the Mr. Mime as well. I always try to catch the Gen 1s at the very least when I'm streaming. Anything else I think I'll leave alone when I'm not streaming. That doesn't seem to have worked, but okay. <coughs> oh well. Um, I don't think it gives any feedback loop, actually, which is a bit of a problem, to be honest. Right, we, um, we've got a reroll, so let's do this. Yeah, let's do this this way. My, my, Mr. Mine! Okay, there's the reroll. And there's a the skull. Alright then, never mind. Good try, Eager. Good try. Eager. It was a good try, but it didn't work. Oh yeah, and tomorrow evening it was supposed to be this evening, but tomorrow evening I'm going bowling for the first time in bloody ages. With uh with some friends and the and the wife. We were supposed to do it this evening, but uh the bowling place didn't have options for this evening. Uh well it's it's kind of a uh it's kind of a business related thing and also a friend a friend related thing, to be frank, but um yes, that's uh that's what's happening. Oh, I hope this works, because this game has been silly so far. Hey, I caught Mr. Mime. There we go. We got a touchdown. <coughs> About bloody time. <laughs> bowling, nice. Yeah, I used to be I used to be good at bowling, but I haven't done it in years, so I don't know. And uh, actually, last time I've only done bowling once in Russia. It's it's weird in Russia. The the balls are really really light. And uh, made in a very strange way, but it might be um, it might be my 
British bias because I come from a country where bowling is taken relatively seriously, I guess. So I don't know. But yeah, bowling. Um, <coughs> but I, t I teach the son of the pair. It's it's the son and mother that we spend that, that are very close friends of ours, and we go to quizzes and things with them every couple of weeks. Um, I teach the son. He's getting a little bit more serious with his um, a little bit. He's getting a lot more serious with his English. Um, he also studies German, and he he's a, he's a genius actually. He's going for um, he's going for his German C1 level this year, and he hopes to do the same in English next year, basically for um, the option to travel basically anywhere abroad. I can't count. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't get that. It's got to be you then. I need to do that <coughs> in order to score. Okay, that worked. Oh, come on game. Don't be silly. Um, I think you're fine there, actually. That's in the way. That's enough in the way. What was I saying? Yeah, and... Um, <coughs> I don't know. There, there's, a, there's a few things we need to, we need to talk about in general, and... Um, I don't know. Yeah, bowling is going to be a bit of a weird setting for it, but that's, uh, that's where we're going. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. he needs to go there. Shit, okay. There's no option but that. Okay. Uh, fun. <coughs> Good start, yes. I don't care. I learned to, I learned to embrace the madness of dice a long time ago. It's not a problem. Uh, Spatak model is quite or Heis de Vue in the game. Uh, Heis de Vue is, is a he's quite a character actually. We spent the whole last time we were playing just swearing in chat constantly. That's the only conversation we had with each other while in chat. So. We didn't say anything, something happened, and then one of us swore in check, and that was basically our entire game. It was great. You just won your first battle with a Pokemon game. Awesome. What, we've all level 1s and 2s? Interesting. I haven't tried the battle yet, actually. I probably should. Because um, I've got a team for it now, most likely. It actually gave you a team you could beat? I'm kind of surprised. Maybe it's balanced. I wasn't expecting that. I, I honestly wasn't expecting it to be balanced at all, to be honest, because um, it's uh, it's it's quite early in its development, as I understand it. But maybe they um, maybe they actually prioritized the right things. Who knows? Okay, dodge away, pass the ball, score. It's perfectly easy. Good uh, good old undead style game at the moment. And blitz score now. Yeah. Well, that doesn't change anything. I still just dodged in the same direction. He's not really in the way. It's fine. <coughs> it's one less square, I guess, where I can go freely, but meh, it's fine. Oh, my voice hates me. I should have bought a, I should have got a drink before. I was going to say bought. Yeah, maybe I should have bought a drink before. I don't know. I went live with this, but um, whatever. It's pretty balanced, it was also a good matchup, and I won with a single Pokemon left on 14 HP. 14 is a lot. Come back to me when you have 1 HP. If you have 14 HP, it sounds like the uh, early early days of Pokemon Red, Blue, etc. I considered doing a playthrough of that again for, for the retro stream, actually, just uh, going to the really old Pokemon games and giving them a go. I don't know, though. I don't know if I'm... It sounds really weird, but I feel like I'm too old for that kind of thing, and I'm not child-friendly, so that's uh, that's another hesitation that I have, but uh, it's something I've considered. Eh, I suppose we'll take these blocks. 
because we can. That doesn't change anything. Okay, we're only taking the one block then. Hope we take another good block. We can blitz with him, I suppose. Do we really want to? Yeah. I suppose we'll try and break a thingy. A thingy? Try and break an elf. Elves are thingies, don't you know? Okay, no, no elf breaking. Well then. Hey, the dodge worked. Would you believe it? So that's going to be a 5 plus. Yeah, 6 plus. Crap. It's going to stay at 6 plus because we're not double GFIing. So. Inaccurate. Don't go off the pitch. Don't go off the pitch. Don't go off the pitch. Okay. Yeah, it's not a bad ball. We're going to end 1 0 in my drive. Not the end of the world against a team that should be completely crushing me. Especially with the way that I'm playing. That's not bad at all. We'll take that. I like the fact, actually, that um, my opponent's assessment of the league was that we were the only teams that made a serious build. Um, this was not a serious build. <laughs> but uh, thanks for the thanks for the vote of, uh, vote of confidence. If I was going a serious build, then I would take a better orc team with Saurus and orcs with the... Um, I think it's called the anti fur Society, with a combination of Orcs and um, Lisbon. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, unlucky. Looks like the Pokemon gets some scaling against a high level opponent on balancing as some of the Pokemon who has 140 HP in the battle have 24 officially. Oh, that's a smart way of doing it, actually. So, yeah, you can you can end up with a, with a horrible matchup, but they make it as if you're fighting the same level. That's a, that's a smart way of doing it, actually. It, it, it avoids the... It's obviously not pay to win because there's no paying involved in this, I think. But it avoids the pay to win style feeling of it, I guess. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Makes sense to me. That's good enough, right? <laughs> the anti furry Society. Exactly! You got it, Shores. You got it. It was Shores, wasn't it? Yeah. I just noticed that Shores and uh, Doggerux have the exact same color, so... Or well, maybe not the exact same, actually. It looks kind of the same. No, it's the exact same color. Yeah. It's, and and you, both, uh, you both have names beginning with D, you know. So, uh... Yeah, it makes me, makes me hesitate a little bit with who's speaking and who's not. I'll try battling next time. I mean, um, Hangnail Hagman or uh, who else do I... Uh, nobody that I really talk about on stream, actually, or some other people that I watch who I don't talk about on stream. I'll try the battle thing when I'm in one of their streams. Hopefully. Catch electric-type Pokemon as a community. Give us electric-type, then. Legendary join the roaming pool until the 10th. What, what's the date today? It's the 8th, right? Yeah. Oh, who's live? Sanitary metal, okay. The gingerbread man. It's funny, actually, I don't get notifications on Twitch at all unless I am streaming, and then I get all the notifications. Well, unless Twitch is open, I guess, but, uh... Yeah, Twitch's notification game is not very good, to be honest. If th there, are, there are very few people that I actually want notifications for, to be completely frank, but, um... The ones that I do want notifications for, I wish I had some better warning that they were live, as opposed to having to be part of the Discord, etc. Speaking of which, I did stick up a going live on the World of Demons Discord, just because it's nowhere else, freely. So, if you do want to um, check up when I'm live and check on World of Demons stuff, a combina any combination of the two, just one to do one or one to do both, then by all means, uh, go and join us there. And you'll actually get a notification that I'm live, in theory. I may, I may add a couple of people as well, but uh, I'm not going to do the thing where I add everybody, but I may add a couple of people to the... Uh, notification station. I'm happy to shout everybody out. Uh, I don't really feel the need to. Because it's not the primary use of the Discord, actually. But uh, 
I may uh, I may add a couple of people to the notification pool there. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Twitch has some issues with the notifications. Well, I've noticed that, like I said, if my um, <coughs> not if when my um, Twitch is open, which it never is unless I'm streaming, I mean on tablet, um, I get all the notifications. But uh, yeah, I I don't use it on my tablet mostly or my phone. So I mostly use it on the computer. And the only way that I know if somebody is live is if I'm on the home page and I can see them going live. Generally speaking, you get the little thing that very quickly says so and so has gone live. But it's gone within like 20 seconds, I think. So if you're not actually looking at the screen when it happens, you're not going to get any kind of notification. It's a bit weird. Not ideal. And I still can't pay for anything on Steam, which is really annoying me. Because there are a few games that I want to buy, actually. Uh, and some DLC specifically for uh, Crusader Kings 2. Steam, I want to give you money. Find a way to let me give you money, please. I understand why they've uh, why they've stopped uh, giving payouts to Russian-based um, Russian-based uh, companies. Obviously, that makes perfect sense. But uh, why are you stopping me from paying you? Even if I have to pay in like a dollar amount, that's fine. Just you know, find a way to let me pay. It's kind of frustrating. Hey, hey spicy, slaying some elves. I haven't slayed any yet. Um, Trying, trying. I've got the I've got the muscle for it, but uh, <coughs> elves and Bretonians they they both uh, they both have the option to be squished, but neither of them are getting squished. Right, what am I doing? The ball is on the ground. Yes, it is. Hmm. Okay then. Uh, right. Let's get you out of the way. You're yeah, you're still in the way. That's not so good. <coughs> Uh, it's Spicy Boy, it's a dead boy. There are a lot of boys. Shout out to Spicy as well. Spicy is a... Uh, I got it, Charles, don't worry. Um, spicy... Spicy's just cool. I mean, he does a lot of weird things. Like, um... I don't know, one of the most interesting things I saw was him playing... Uh, what the hell is that game called? Um, crap, what's the, what's the horrible game that you're like smacking your head against a brick wall all the time. The um, Dark Souls, that's what it's called, Jesus. Uh, watching, watching him play Dark Souls with um, a wheel was just uh, really chaotic and like backward postman pat Mario Kart driving. It's, it's, it's good fun. You got some, uh, you got some unique, unique ideas. It makes you, makes you very interesting <coughs> overall. Heliolisk. I have no idea what a Heliolisk is, but okay. Good luck, anybody who wants to catch whatever that is. <coughs> Maybe this is why I should play one of the Pokemon games, so I can actually learn what some of these newer Pokemon are, so I don't feel like such an old man. Yeah, but again, I'm not, I'm not good for a cute audience, which is, you know... It's the only thing that makes me hesitate about playing a Pokemon game, because uh, any, any kids who join me, that's a... That's a bit of a... That's a bit of a Monka moment for me, you know? Oh yeah, with the wheel. Exactly. Yeah, there are a few people who have a kind of gimmick. Uh, Spicy has some gimmicks in his in the way he does things, which is which is cool, you know. It's also one of the reasons why I want to do the um, uh, why I want to do. Let me explain the concept actually of what I started talking about earlier. I want to play a game where uh, the game is entirely in a foreign language, and I've never played it. Uh, my first thought actually was to do something like Football Manager, but I don't think that's so interesting because I can't. Um, uh, like, for example, playing Football Manager in, I don't know, Finnish, and playing a Finnish football team. I know nothing about football, I know very little about the game, and um, it'll be chaotic, but the, it, it, there, there's not enough feedback from that game. So I wanted a story-based game, where I play it in a foreign language. My original idea was um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, because I've never played that game um, in Italian. Because um, even though I know a few phrases in Italian, I don't know anything that's not useful in a restaurant, essentially. So it wouldn't help me with the game. Um, but the voiceover was still in English, so it defeated the point. But I want to play a game where the voiceover and the text is in a language that I don't understand, and I have to try and figure out what I'm doing, and I also have to try and explain to stream what's going on. That was the uh, that was the idea behind it, but um, I haven't found a good game for it yet. So if anybody has a good uh, 
good idea of a game where there's a basic story. Sorry to say good job to my opponent. Where there's a story and there's a voiceover. There's a voiceover and uh, the text in a foreign language, or it's a purely text game, that's fine as well. If I've never played it before, then uh, that's uh, that's something that I'd like to do. I could do Final Fantasy IX, for example. I never played it, and I don't think it has a voiceover. Uh, I would say I could do Final Fantasy VII because I've also never played it, but uh, I I know the story, so I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's quite as um, interesting. Now yeah, Final Fantasy IX, I could do something crazy like Japanese. Again, I could probably get by in a in a restaurant in Japanese, but that's as far as I could go. A lizard. Okay, Helioloski is a lizard of some description. Uh, yeah, nineties. Yeah, uh, I don't know what the nineties reference was for now, but okay. Uh, I want to see you play Mule Mech Big Uh Okay, I have no idea what that is, but um. Hey, send me a link in. Uh, send me a link in Discord, and I'll have a look at it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite serious about uh, about recommendations. If you have a recommendation of something that is story based, and I'm gonna have no idea what the fuck is going on, but try to explain what's going on, then you know, that's perfect. And uh, if it's a Swedish game originally, which I guess it is based on the name, um, the bell means sounds good. Just make sure that it has um, it has some story though, and I can kind of interact back and forth. Ah, Slochinsi. No. Slo Chin Yeah. Slo Slochinsi, okay. I I didn't actually notice the game until to, uh, the the name of the team until just now. It's not a Swedish game where you build cars and try to help your community with different cars. Holy fuck, that sounds um Yes. <laughs> um It's a very loose story though. Well, yeah, I could I could, I could do something like um some kind of builder game, sure, but uh, I don't think that quite has the I don't think that quite has the atmosphere that I'm going for here, because I want it to be a social experiment as well, basically, to see if I can pick up some language uh, as I'm going as well. Because um, I truly think I truly think you can learn languages through games if you have the foundation of a language, but uh, I want to see if I could do it with basically no foundation or minimum foundation, and see if I can actually pick up some language from playing this kind of game as well. So it's kind of combining language interest and uh, and gaming as well, and also the chaotic nature of what I do. Like story moments when you find people. Hmm. I don't know. I think that would work for something like um, Spirit Fairer. I think it's called. I think that would kind of work, but for a game like this, I'm not so sure. The longest journey. I don't think I did, but yeah, same kind of idea. I think where there is there is some story involved. It, it's better though if um if I need somebody to like tell me what to do in game. So like the first thing you can't even figure out what the hell is going on in the menu. By the way, that's the, that's the first part of it. Um. Yeah, Spirit Fair is a good example. I haven't played. I know the basic concept of it, but um, I haven't actually played it. Uh, that's a good example as well of something that I could potentially do but it's better if it's something where kind of like the game tells you what to do and you know so somebody says oh there's this really important piece of information that you need and you need to go find it and then they spend like an hour trying to find something that should take me two minutes so that's uh, that's kind of the that's kind of the that's kind of the thing I'm going for here and hopefully with the explanation like if you know the Simpsons where Homer is listening to Apu and Mandula talking and like he goes yeah I think I'm getting the idea I think uh, I think this is this, and Mandula is some kind of superhero who takes cereal for children or something. I don't remember the line, but you get the idea. He basically he doesn't understand a single thing, and he makes up a really stupid story. So I kind of want that that feeling from it as well. Though I, I would legitimately try to understand at the same time, because uh, I don't know. I think um, I think I think I have a good brain for languages. I mean, I've learned a few in my time. So, I don't know, I'm intrigued as to whether I can make sense of a game, especially somebody who's played it before watching it and it's like, oh, this is really complicated, and then if I somehow somehow get it, somewhat get it, then maybe it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. It's an old school point and click with a ton of story. Well, that sounds good. A Norwegian game, but they have different languages. 
Well, Norwegian would be an example of a language I hardly speak anything of, so, you know, Norwegian would be fine. The, the main thing is that there's no... The main thing is that there's no English help, because that's, uh, that's what I'm finding is a problem with a lot of old games where they are uh, English made. So a foreign game, by all, by all means, that's, uh, that's something I can do. Like, Japanese game is, is obviously a clear one, um, but I think a lot of people do Japanese games, so I don't know. I was going to say Metro, but that's Russian, you already know Russian. Uh, well, I could probably play in a different language, to be fair. But, um... You may be surprised, actually. I may even struggle with Russian, to be completely frank, depending what this what the story is about. Um, Portal would be another example of something I could potentially play, or Half-Life. These games I've never played, but uh, I understand the basic concept behind the game, so it feels like cheating, if that makes sense. I mean, yeah, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, I know that it's Star Wars, and I understand Star Wars, but um, I don't really know... I know some things about the game, actually, as well, because I played Star Wars um, Galaxy of Heroes, and all of the characters exist in that, so I know a little bit about the characters, but um, I don't know anything about the story in, in the game, so that's why, it was, that's why it felt like a good choice. Or I would have done The Witcher, for example, if I hadn't already ruined it by not liking The Witcher so far. <coughs> Um, or something like uh, Hearts of Iron or Crusader Kings, but Crusader Kings has limited language options where trying to play the game in the language of whatever country I'm controlling. I don't know, this is the concept basically. I wanted to start it yesterday, but like I said, uh, the voiceover in Kator was in English, which was really disappointing actually, because I was, I was ready to go and I was ready to stream and I tested it and it's like... Ah, oh, crap, he's speaking to me in English. Well, never mind then. And ironically, because the game is in English, I lost all interest in it. <coughs> so, I don't know, maybe I will play it one day, but... Uh, I don't know, there's too many people who just do a blind playthrough or something. I, I don't think it's interesting on its own, necessarily. So I prefer to add this extra chaotic element. It's a blind playthrough, but I don't understand anything. <coughs> Ah, there was another, um, what's that company called? Um, oh, what's the company that made the, the Walking Dead and the Game of Thrones and uh, various other games? What's that, what's that company called? Oh, there we go, there's an injury. Um, you know, these story-based games. Uh, they, anyway, th that company, they made, um, they made a game called, I think, Wolf Among Us. That's something else I haven't played. If, uh, if there are different language options in that, that can be a, that can be one, for example. Especially when I have to make decisions very quickly, and I have no idea what the what the hell anybody said. Telltale Games, yes, thank you, Shores. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad your brain is working when mine isn't. I'm actually surprised everybody's online today. Uh, it's it's Friday, right? I'm not going crazy. It's payday. No, it's Friday, right? It's not Saturday's day, and I just like slept, had a coma for all of Friday. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes, it was spicy first. I just noticed that you both said it. Yeah, Telltale. Um, well, I'm glad both of you have a have a brain. Have a brain, yes, that's a... Yeah. Can I just point out as well, there's a Blood Bowl game going on. I have no idea what the fuck is happening in this game. <coughs> I've been playing this game now for however long I've been streaming. I don't know a single thing that's happened in this game the whole time I've been playing, to be honest. I have not been paying attention. Um, but oh well. <coughs> It's Friday, Friday. Uh, I know the song. I, I don't know what song you mean, but okay. Friday, I'm in love? I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just surprised everybody's online on a, on a work day, but, but okay. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, you're all young, to be fair. Maybe you're all students. Actually, no, Spicy's not that young, so I don't know. Don't know what Spicy does, to be fair, though. So, yeah. I have a day off today, which sucks, but I have a day off because, um, I know it's very rare that somebody will say I have a day off which sucks, but uh, in my case it really does, because the the reason I have a day off is because all of these students that I usually have today, I've, uh, I've either lost them temporarily or I've lost them for longer than, well, they're still temporarily, I guess, uh, in the short term or in the long term, depending on the situation for them, so my, my Friday has just become 
clear at the moment, which means that I need to uh, fill this space with clients again. I'm busy every other day. I'm too busy every other day. Surprisingly, but um, on, on Friday I'm not very busy at the moment. <coughs> so, that's fun. In between jobs at the moment. That's fine. Previous week they didn't get any new projects for me due to COVID. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I was expecting COVID to hit me harder, to be honest. It didn't hit me too hard, but um, the the special military operation, that hit me pretty hard. Especially in the first week, but uh, it's, still, it's still slowly having an effect. I, I'm having to switch to corporate jobs potentially, which is not ideal. It's not what I want to do, but um, it may be what I have to do to secure my business team. I got a couple lined up, but uh, I haven't finalized the deal with them yet. It's one of the reasons why I've been so busy this week. You lucky you don't know Friday by Rebecca Black. Maybe I do, I just don't, I just, I, I don't know. Maybe I do know, I just don't know. That made sense. Um, I got two exam weeks but no exams. Fair enough. My previous, uh, yeah, okay. Unfortunate events, yeah, I know. <coughs> well. It's, it's, made, it's made everything uncertain for people and um, Look, my, my, my job is a... My service is a luxury for a lot of people, so it's fully understandable. And I've mostly had problems with students who are abroad. I lost all of the foreign students in general, who... When I say foreign, I mean not Russian students, who I teach uh, in Russia, because they can't pay me. Um, but I'm also losing some students who are abroad and they are Russian, because they're having problems with finances now, or... In general, just losing some people because they can't afford this luxury, which is totally understandable. It sucks, but, uh, you know, it's not like I don't understand it. It's very, very clear what's happening and why to me. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know. Um, let's do that. Let's go, let's go off the serious thing. Screw it. Yeah. Holy bums and stuff. <coughs> Uh, actually, I can get you out of the way, can't I? Yeah, this works. Uh, no, there. Let's get you around there. And then you... Can I do that? I, ki I kind of can, but it's going to require a GFI. And I don't want to do that anyway, because I want to blitz for you when I think about it. Because we're going to try and score with you. Uh, hopefully things turn around soon. No, they're, they're not that bad. Uh, I'm making it. I'm making it sound worse than it actually is. I think I, I managed to keep hold of. Uh, I don't know. Probably probably about half of my clients now. Um, but I managed to hold on to half so far, which you know. I mean, I'm in a much better position than some people. And like I said, one of the most annoying things actually at the moment for me personally is that I can't pay for things I want to pay for. Um, which is. You know, if that's your biggest complaint, that's uh, that's pretty good. What are we catching? Pincer? Oh, hell yeah. <coughs> Poke catch. Poke catch, catch. Hey, hey, password. Oh. What a waste of a reroll. It worked! It wasn't a waste of a reroll. Okay, then. Um. And then we get a double skull. Yeah, exactly, I'm the same. Whenever I'm streaming, I only try and catch the uh, first gen Pokemon. Maybe a couple of second gen I'll try to catch. Like if a Cyndaquil came up, for example, I'd probably could try and catch that. Maybe a Chikorita? I care less about Chikorita. Or, um. If a Bidoof came up, I'd have to do it for the memes. But, um. Yeah, mostly. Mostly, um. Jesus, nobody caught Pinsa? Blah. Supposed to use a bigger ball on it, I guess. Pinsa has the big balls. Oh dear. Yeah, Gem 1 and 2 Pokemon's are ballers. Exactly. Yeah, but Gen 2, I think uh, I think I can let most Gen 2s go. Some of my favorite, favorite Gen 2s I'll try and catch, but uh, everybody else. Aww. 
not so much. <laughs> Snorlax, yeah, I, I don't think Snorlax is going to be very common. I mean, if they have Pokemon, if they have every Pokemon as well, that's a uh, that's a lot of RNG to get through, man. Oh, Pokemon Go stopped working in Russia as well. Um, I tried to I tried to use it a couple of days ago because because uh, I'm slowly putting on weight and I could do with getting rid of some. I'm not fat. I'm far from it, but uh, I'll I'll get there if I don't do something about it. Um, I'm still exercising regularly, but uh, I'm not doing enough. So I could do with like a, an hour, an hour and a half walk every day. So I want to I want to get Pokemon Go up and running again, but uh, no dice. So, that kind of sucks. So I got to go back to the idea of uh, walking the cat, which is a, which is a, which is an idea that when I was in the Czech Republic, thought was absolutely insane, but now it makes perfect sense to me. I mean, literally putting the cat on a lead and taking him out for a walk, but uh, the weather isn't playing nice at the moment. It's, there's still too much snow. <coughs> so I was hoping to be walking the cat by this stage, probably while playing Pokemon Go, but. Um, the weather said no. At least so far. Obviously, Deadshot's favorite Pokemon is uh, is Snorlax. What are what are some favorite Pokemon's we got in chat then? Let's hear some. Let's hear some weird ones. If anybody says Barboach, I'm banning you. Just so you know. That's a that's an old style meme, <laughs> but still. <coughs> um, I, and I won't really. The Barboach is a Barboach is a weird ass Pokemon. Umbreon, okay, nice choice. Yeah, I can see Umbreon. Umbreon was a Umbreon was a very popular one when it, when it first came out. I actually preferred Espeon personally, but I can understand the allure of Umbreon for certain. <coughs> I'd be surprised if this team could take an Apo, just uh, talking to your opponent, because I keep forgetting that actually there's an opponent in game. Um, I I keep forgetting I'm playing Blood Bowl. I'm just I'm just clicking things. That's uh, that's how this game is going. Yeah, it was so cool with the two ni dark types in Gen Two. Uh, there were at least three dark types, right? Because there was Houndor, well, Houndor, Houndoom. Were they dark? Maybe they went dark, actually. Maybe I'm misremembering. I think they were dark Pokemon, though. Uh, Murkrow was dark, definitely. Didn't Ratster switch to dark as well? And, um, and yeah, Umbreon. I think there were more than two. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm misremembering, though. No, wait. Houndoom was dark, right? Because what else would it be? Or was it just a fire type? That'd be boring. Because I mean, it's literally a hound of hell. So, yeah, dark fire, exactly. So that's at least four. I'm trying to think what else was in Gen two. There may have been a couple others as well. I always liked a uh, pillar swine because it sounded like philistine, but uh, like a pig. It's like a it's like a pig that Socrates was making fun of. I always liked that name. It's such a pillar swine. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That was maybe a little bit too. Uh, that was maybe a little bit too nerdy. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, we we reason to like a Pokemon, but okay. Hey, I liked a lot of Pokemon for their names. A lot of names are really stupid. I remember when I was a kid, actually, and realizing that uh, Arbok and Ekans were Snake and Cobra backwards. That kind of blew my mind when I was, like, I don't know, how old was I when I learned that? Like, eight? Nine? That was the kind of thing that, you know, you, you, go, onto the, you go onto the school playground and you tell everybody about. <laughs> I like him because he's a hairy swine. Yeah, that works too. Uh, 
Should we try a crazy? Should we try a crazy play? We probably will, won't we? I mean, that's uh, that's what I do on this channel, right? Yeah, I'm probably gonna do the crazy play. It requires a dodge, though. <laughs> uh, it's a bit too crazy, to be honest. So maybe not. Mercro Umbreon Sneasel. Oh yeah, Sneasel was dark as well. Yeah. And Houndor. Houndoom Houndor with the... Wait, are you trying to tell me that Houndoom wasn't dark, but Houndor was? Hmm. I don't know. Umbreon was any pure dark. Yeah, possibly. They introduced the Steel type as well, didn't they? In Gen 2. With Caesar and Steelix. And Skarmory? Skarmony? Skarmory, I think it was called, yeah. Yeah, they introduced some new concepts. It's because it's because Psychic was broken. They had to they had to do something about the broken Psychic type. <coughs> yeah. Um Maybe there's one more steel that I'm forgetting. There are at least three though. I'm trying to think of Jasmine's Pokemon, because Jas Jasmine had all the steel types, right? I think the game actually did better with this stuff than um, than the cartoon because the cartoon did the cartoon did the first generation a lot of justice, but I think in the second generation it kind of dropped the ball a bit and then it got better again in uh, when they introduced May it got better again, and then and then Dawn was okay as well. I don't even remember who was in the second generation. That's how that's how bad it was. I remember that everybody hated um uh, the the artist who replaced Brock because Brock was awesome even though he was a womanizing weirdo um, but he was awesome as a character in general um, and when you're a kid you don't think about that kind of thing it's just a it's just a silly thing you know yeah change back might steal electric sure oh yeah Foratress, yeah Pineco. Yeah, good blood ball. Talking all about Pokemon, it's a it's a good way to, it's a good way to blood ball. Jesse was his name, right? No, Jesse's no Jesse's the no. It can't be Jesse because Jesse is Team Rocket. Um, he had a girl's name though. I remember that much. I think. Jelly filled donuts. Um, Yes, yes, and yeah, the monkey catching the jelly filled donuts, yes, that's a... Uh... Oh, that's great. There are a few weird moments in the cartoon, actually. Um, it's been really weird as well, because I've, I've, I've watched it in Russian as well now. The whole first season, I've watched, I've watched everything for the first season in Russian as well. Uh, first thing that's interesting, actually, they, um, uh, the, the Russian and the European version of the cartoon senses different things. So you got no problem watching the the weird Porygon episode where everybody gets really sick watching it, um, and you can watch a you can watch the Clint Eastwood character pointing a gun in the Russian cartoon no problem, but they uh, but they block. Oh, what was the other one? And the 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 tentacle and tentacle one with the really weird old man, and um, it was like a. It was like two towers before two towers. That that one also absolutely fine to watch in Russian. But um, oh, and the boobs. The boobs are fine in Russian as well. James's boobs. But um, <coughs> oh, what did they block? That was really weird. They blocked something that was so innocuous, but uh, it was censored in the Russian version. And I don't remember what it was now. Um, anyway, the censorship was weird between the two countries. They were they were fine of all the stuff that the European. The Europeans blocked, but some things were blocked in in the Russian version that were just uh, they were just weird. And it is funny as well watching the whole thing in series, and you have the you have the European opening, you know, um, the really awesome metal song the whole way, and then all of a sudden you've got the you've got the um, Japanese version in episode twenty something because it was blocked in Europe. 
Anyway, I don't remember what my original point was now. Because um, I, I went on to censorship. What was I going to say? Yes, jellyfill donuts, that's why. Because the translations, the translations, there are some really weird moments. Like, um, some things just don't translate. Like, some jokes don't work. If you watch it in Japanese, it makes perfect sense. But if you watch it in English, or if you watch it in Russian, or any other language, it makes no sense at all. Uh, especially when they're language-based um, gags with, with Pikachu, like, thinking about something that Ash said that was weird, for example. And it just, it just doesn't work, in, especially in English. Um... But that got doubly worse in Russian because I know the I know the Japanese joke, I know the English joke, and the Russian joke is something else again. It's, it was it was really meta. And hi, upset. Sorry, I did see you. I was just uh, I was trying to I was trying to make my brain work. How are you? <coughs> Swedish is the only version. I have not seen it in Swedish, but uh, hey, I make a lot of judgments on the song. The, I'm sorry, but the the uh, the American slash English song is the best song out of all of them. I've heard a lot of shit versions of Pokemon songs. And the Russian one is probably the worst, to be honest. That one is awful, especially the lyrics. I haven't heard, I haven't heard or seen the, sw the Swedish one, though. You're grand. I'm good. I'm glad, Upsy Dups. Are you in this cup, actually? I think you're in this cup, right? Are you one of the six? Hey, he scored again. Uh, yes, you are. You're playing something. Borgrit and the Smarts. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess there are some ogres and things involved. <coughs> Lost to Cerrone in the first round. I mean, it is Cerrone. We all lose to Cerrone sometimes. So yeah, how is the song in uh, how is the song in Swedish? Union of small people. All right, that makes that makes perfect sense. Yeah, there's a union of small people team. There's a there's a goblin team. What are the other two? In the I'll have a look after this actually because we're on we're on turn sixteen already. And we're not one turning. So maybe yeah, we went down three 0 I don't know. This game was like a drunk a drunken stupid to be honest. So I'm I'm good. I'm good with a uh, I'm good with the result of it. Playing playing B Blood Bowl in the middle of a Friday is a weird time to play for me. What can I say? I've enjoyed just chatting utter nonsense to you guys, to be completely honest. Okay, can we can we one turn? No, I've set it up wrong. I suppose we could have technically, probably, but whatever. We're not going to. Let's put you there just in case we get a push. Let's put you there just in case we get a push. Let's get you into blitzing range, just in case we aren't crazy. Meditite, there's a there's a second gen Pokemon for you all. Well, all of you who care about the Pokemon stuff. It's going to be weird for anybody watching on YouTube as well, who came for a Blood Bowl game, and uh, <laughs> none of this has been Blood Bowl. It's a cup, I don't know. I, I, I don't take it nearly as seriously as I do the League, which I don't take seriously at all anyway. Okay, that's the end of the game. Unless he wrestles. Good game. Text is very similar to the English one. Yeah, I believe it. Um, I remember. I remember actually watching a. Um, I remember watching a an orchestra for the Pokemon games where it was a very serious thing, and when the when they did the theme song, everybody sang along in a in a very formal. Everybody's in a suit. Orchestra. Everybody actually sang along to the opening of Pokemon, which is really awesome. Ah, so that was a game. Uh, four armor breaks and a pass. We got a pass, and three passes, nine armor breaks. Yeah, okay. So six. I don't care. And lots. Um, Twelve. <sighs> Why can't I count? I don't know. So twelve, sixteen, um, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-three, four. Sl Slochinsi. Yes. Yeah, everything was fine. Man, I kinda wanna keep streaming now, but I gotta I got other things to do at the moment. I will be back in the evening though, with um evening afternoon. <laughs> Push ups right at the end. Thank you. Thank you. That actually that's actually really cool. Because, uh, like I said, I need to I need to keep myself in shape actually. Uh, why am I looking at the team? I don't want to look at the team, I want to have a look at what was in the league. Right, so there are six teams, obviously. 
Fairy Association. Oh, this is the one actually orcs and lizards mixed up, I think. Or... No? No, I think it is the anti foe with orcs and lizards. Yeah, it is, because this one has Skaven. So we got a we got a very serious team, actually, from Cerrone. God, no wonder you lost to this team. Look at this team. Jesus Christ. He's done some good work with the limits. Wait. No, that's not a blitzer. So he's gone... One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, there's his, there's his blitz choices. And then... Uh, his catcher, thrower choice. Two weapons. Has he got a, has he got a 13 man team? He's got a 14 man team. Alright. Wait, is this team legal? Oh yeah, yeah, because this yeah. Okay, sorry. I thought there was a I thought there was a fourth um, blitzer, but yes, no, it it is legal. Sorry, sorry, Serone. Yeah, this team is completely legal. Um, so yeah, we got a serious team from Serone. We got my team that you just saw. We got a, a just a straight up goblin team from Game Slayer, which is a uh, which is madness. I kind of love it. So that's um that's good fun. Um, obviously the other serious team that we just played, Hoopsy Dups and his Union of Small People. With the RP. Uh, I will do the push-ups when I'm done, by the way. And I will do them. Um, it is very legal. Yeah, I, I know. I, I was I was just looking at it and I thought there was a fifth blister there, but there wasn't. I was going to work out after the stream anyway, by the way, but uh, I will do, do push-ups in a little bit. I'll do it before I finish, just so I've done the five. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then... Another Far East Association. And do this team is... Interesting. I give it's... I originally designed this this cup. That's why I'm that's why I'm confused because I'm just thinking about the rules that I set up. Can you have six dwarf blockers in this team? I guess you can, but it's a bit of, that's a bit surprising. I suppose you got to lose some other pieces. Yeah, it was probably like you can have six blitzers and no catches. That's probably how it worked. So yeah, this team is probably fine too. But uh, interesting with two ogres, all the dwarfs. Eh, I'm sure. I'm sure the admins checked it. To be honest, it's been a while since I've looked at the league. But there we go. There's um. There's the six teams that we're playing, and probably Cerrone and D-Man are at the top. I guess did D-Man win? Yeah, D-Man won. So it's not surprising who's at the top and who's at the bottom. I think. Right. Um. Should I do my push-ups on stream? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth doing. To be honest, I, I guess that you'll trust that I'll do it. I'll do it as soon as uh, as soon as I'm finished. But um. I think it makes more sense to not make you look at the screen and watch that, to be honest. So, um, I will do the five push-ups. Thank you for making me less fat. I appreciate it. Um, but yes, I will do them. Uh, let's, uh, let's find, uh, let's find somebody to hand you guys over to. I'm still surprised so many people were here on a working day in the middle of the day, but there we go. Oh god, loads of people are online. Um... You know what, because I've spoken about him a couple of times and he basically has no crowd at the moment, I'm actually going to hand you guys over to B24Gaming, who is a, um, he's a he's a guy from Trinidad and Tobago, and I found him through Stream Raiders, and um, he's, been, uh, he's been really chill to watch, actually, and at the moment he's playing, uh, I think it said American Truck Simulator? Yeah, it's, it's a weird day, there's not, um, there's not really somebody sensible to hand over to, so I'm going to hand over to, yeah, B24 Gaming. Uh, give him some love, give him some, uh, give him some support when you get there, and um, good luck understanding him if you've never heard, <laughs> if you've never heard that uh, accent, it's going to be fun for you. But um, yeah, he's a he's a he's a good guy, so let's hand over and uh, give him some love. All right, I'll be back later with um, with some demon stuff, which uh, you can find out about here if you want to. Otherwise, that's, uh, otherwise that'll be all for today. Thank you very much for hanging out with me on this weird day. Thank you for watching on YouTube as well. I'm sorry that it wasn't very Blood Bowl related for anybody watching on YouTube, my chat at least, but there was a game. It happened. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.